just how you love it guys today we are making meat pie for everyone if you're a lover of meat pie this is how to get it done hello sweetie welcome back to start we are going to be needing a bowl the same time needing measuring cup and streamer so we are going to be working on all purpose flour the same time we are going to be needing three cup on this recipe first of all i will be streaming the flour in case i have any nonsense that we shall see here so i don't need that i have to get it out so always try to stream it guys even if it's on the packet try to stream case of all this kind of dirty so now i keep that aside all i do now is to add in baking powder add in sugar add in nutmeg then add in salt then whisk everything together next ingredient i will be adding is butter so here is the butter i will be working on so i will just use the butter to massage the floor I get down this very well like this, so I keep this aside. So what I need now is eggs. So I'll be making use of four raw eggs. So I just have to break that and bring out the shell. So this is the egg. I just have to whisk everything together. So just do like this. All I do now is to pour it inside the bowl, just like this. I get everything mixed together. So making this at this point, you don't need water. So all you have to do is just to get it mixed, mixed, mixed don't add water just okay like this so now it's done missing just look at how that look now i got to cover for 30 minutes for that to get rest before i make use of feed so on this pan i will be adding some oil so i make use of two spoon the same time adding some onions so let that onions to fry for one second the same time i will be adding some beef so this is beef. I just finished blending that. I just put that inside, add them mangy, pepper spice, and the same time adding salt and stir together. Stir and get that cook. So after 10 minutes of cooking, this is what it look like. So now I'll be adding potato. The same time I'll be adding carrot. So I just get that stir together. So making this sauce, guys, for me to see that delicious taste I'm looking for, I don't know, add them water, guys. I just get this to cook for 15 minutes. So just simmer with low heat. So 15 minutes later, this is what I have. It's cooked so nice. Now I'll be adding some corn flour. Then get that stirred together just like this. So making this, you don't need to be adding big water. Look at the quantity of water I add, just a little bit of water. So now I will cover that for five minutes to get simmer. Trust me, after five minutes, this sauce is everywhere. It cooks so nice, it sounds so amazing. I just love it like this. So what I add next is green pepper. So that is green pepper. I just add that, I stir together. Trust me now, look at that. Mm -hmm. It looks so nice. I just love this sauce a lot. I will keep that aside. Now it's ready. Back to the floor at this point, the butter is ready. So it's now to work on. All I do now is to add it inside the surface. So add in some bit of flour and then add that over there. So I'm going to divide this in the accurate size and working on. So that is very important guys if you are making five meat by first of all you have to make sure that you have the five butter equal size just keep it like this make sure you arrange all of it equal so that you just have to get it where you can see how i'm just sharing everything make sure that this is just for each one one seat so now i keep that aside i just take only one roll it like this i just cut with this plate just to get that cycle cover First, I will grease the butter with raw egg. Then after that, I'll be adding the sauce. Look at the sauce now. Uh -huh. I make use of two spoons. Because I don't want to hear story. I want when I go open this meat pie. Everywhere go they poo -poo -poo. So everywhere go full. That's how I enjoy eating my meat pie. I want the sauce to fill everywhere. When you get chop and go, they enter your head. It's just like that. So I just take my head to just give it that little bit of sign. After doing that, I will add it in my baking pan. So I first of all grease the baking pan with butter. Then use the remaining raw egg to grease the body of the pie, just like this. Now I'm giving it that beautiful teledor sign. So this one again, I'm going to use my knife to give it this sign. I love this pattern. Like, I love this one so much. So that is it. That is going to bake. And after baking, guys, mm -hmm, look at that. Call your neighbor. Share and go give her. Tell her, say you don't see this one. My people, 
This is just so, so soft, so delicious, so much water. Hey, asalamu alaikum. So my people, this, as, I don't know many English to give this pie. It's just so, so nice. I love it a lot. See my next one. Please share. Bye-bye. Look at that.